Right, what I've done is I've taken the cylinder head off. If you point over here, Zach, you can see the heads off. These are the barrels, these are the pistons. Um, now we know that the nut came out of the camshaft sprocket and it went down inside the engine somewhere. Um, now normally what could happen is the camshaft will stop turning and the valves will remain open and the piston will come up and smack the valve and that's what I'm looking for now. So if you have a look in, if you have a look at this, trying to get too, a bit too close that, uh, you'll see that there's, there's, there's no marks on the piston. That's, that's what I've just done. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the valves out now and have a look. So as you can see, I've started taking the valves out. Right, I'm just going to, I've left one in on purpose, that one, because I'm going to show you how to do that one. I'm going to take this one out and then obviously I've got to get all the others out as well. So to take a valve out, you need one of these. So you might have to stand back a bit, a bit Zach. Um, and this is um, a spring compressor. Now this little attachment here, I had that made by an engineering shop. So I had to make that because the one that came with it was far too big. So, and because these are only little valves, so what we'll do is I'll show you how to do it. So we're going to take the, we're going to, I'm going to take that valve out. So I'll just position the head there. Now what happens is I'll open up that. That there actually goes against. Imagine imagine that the valve, right? That clamps on the other side of the valve like that, right? And then what happens is, that then compresses the spring. So, I'm just going to do that, I'm going to locate it on that valve. Now if you can zoom in here Zach, look in there, look. Don't, try not to get too close because we need a bit of light and stuff. Right, and all you do is push it down. Now can you see inside there? Can you see, can you see in there look? Give it light a bit, Zach. You need to. So in there, look. It's, it's compressed the valve. So what I need to do now is pull them little collets out. That's one there. That's the other one. Now this this tip is slightly magnetized. So what I'll do then is release that. So if you look there now, the valve, look at the differences there, the valve isn't compressed now. So all I need to do is just take that out, take the spring out, give it a poke with finger, and out comes the valve from the other side. All right. Now what I do is I put everything back. Be careful you don't lose these, because if you lose these, these look... Well, if I dropped one of them on my cellar floor, I'd never find it. Right, so I've put it back in, and what I do then, I put it in a plastic bag. So that one I means valve number one. <laughs> oh, shit. It's actually an exhaust, not an inlet. <laughs> So that's the balls up. And then all I'll do then is bit of tape just to seal the bag. And then what I do then is I put them. So those are the other eight valves. And like I say, that should say one E. Because this is the exhaust. Right? So that should say one E. So now, as you can see, I've got all the exhaust valves out. Right? 
So what I'll do now is I'll get back to you when I've got all the inlet valves out. <laughs> 